Hello, everybody, and welcome to Shenanigans. How are you fine people doing this fine morning? Hi. Doing all right. Good, good. Wonderful. Um, well, this is a cast we all know, so I don't think we need to do introductions. Uh, so, yeah. how's everyone's week been? Aside from yeah. your 50-hour flight, Jason? 50-hour flights and layovers. Combined. Yeah, but it sounds less horrifying if you tell the truth <laughs> well it was still like a, an 11 hour flight yeah from Tai from taipei to vancouver canada to, and then another flight that i had to wait five hours for to portland so <laughs> yes fun all around yeah uh, how about the rest of you how have you all been doing i've been uh, doing pretty well i was on vacation this week i ate oh, way nice. too many eggs what do you oh. mean? I bought too many eggs and I ate too many eggs, Neil. Okay, well, no. sure. I guess it's that simple. Yeah, too many I, eggs. I mean, you know, 34 eggs in, in one week. week. Oh, what? Uh, 34 like by seven, four, four four point five, five eggs a day. All right, two for breakfast, one for three for breakfast, two for lunch or dinner. It's okay. That's, that's an egg-heavy week, definitely. Yeah. It's like heavy, but I wouldn't qualify that as obscene. Maybe, Maybe not obscene, but it's definitely on the egg-heavy side. I tried to have three eggs for breakfast this morning, and it was too much. You know, usually two eggs isn't quite enough, but the third egg this morning was like, eh, eh. So I could see how 36 eggs in a week would be a lot. How did you cook the eggs, Neil? Scrambled with uh, avocado on the side. See, I'm just fat, and I eat like four at a time. <laughs> well, there's that. Uh, so, everyone's in Berkshire. Everyone yeah, is in shenanigans. Are we? Wow. Yes. Right. Unsurprisingly, Whoa. today's session starts in shenanigans. I know. Mm. You never yeah, would have expected it. There's always a tree in the backyard. Yeah, it's I, been there for a long time. Wow. Yeah. I That's guess like I. The just... only detail that we care about outside of the tap bar is that there's a tree in the backyard. <laughs> I, I think I'm just either always so zoomed in. Right. Or the window is so small that I just never see it. Hmm. Well, there's also, we've mentioned before, like another house next to you guys, and there's like a fence back here. No, there isn't. Um, yeah, those, and those don't exist. Yeah, that's a fence, and there's actually like a full fledged alley back here. It's more like this. This goes over here, and then there's some other building right next to Shenanigans that we, we don't even know what this building is that's next to it. But it's just there. But it's there, yeah. All we um, know is that some guy got flung there during a cheese golem or something. Something. I don't. Something. I don't even remember the occasion sure. under which these things happened. But I don't know. How, I don't know how anyone can have a place right in the shenanigans and be alive for very long. Or I. Yeah. It's a, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. <laughs> yeah. Miracle. Yeah. Uh, so, speaking of the shenanigans, very carefully. <laughs> Uh, you guys are all sitting down at a table. Which, mm -hmm. which table in the bar are you sitting at? Uh, we've been pinging it this whole time, Neil. <laughs> mm. I was so busy drawing lines, yeah. I didn't know where you were. Where you were sitting. Okay. So you're sitting under the stairs, like oh, usual. Okay. Um, and what's going on at yep. the table? <sighs> we're sitting there. I'm probably just hugging my puppy extra tight. <laughs> <laughs> Not letting it out of my grasp. Sitting and hugging puppies. God, what a life. Yeah, I guess. Yep. It's the best part of shenanigans is the, the fictional, I have no responsibilities. I just get to play with this puppy all day. Seriously, though. <sighs> Kyla mm -hmm. had a somewhat heavy drinking week since she almost your life, but also get to... Every, every time every time Kyla like gets really close to dying, she has a heavy drinking week. So <laughs> Whereas Torque little... is just like, yeah, that's Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. I go con like... unconscious at least once or twice a week. Right, that's true. <laughs> Kyla Kyla has been in some really, really oh, no, ridiculous situations that she's survived and it's slowly eating away. <laughs> <laughs> Kyla's slowly going insane. <laughs> 
Yeah, <laughs> very slow. All right. Well, uh, here you are. Mm-hmm. There is a, a new band in town. They're playing this uh, new style of music that they call jazz. Okay. And um, good. Yeah. It's other than that, it's pretty a uh, normal day here in Shenanigans. Desmond's behind the bar. Lizzie is bringing in some food over her shoulder uh, that she's hunted out in the woods. Layla's sitting in the corner uh, by the front door, practicing her magic, casting little minor spells on inanimate objects. Mm-hmm. Uh, random, various adventurous folk around here, and every now and then someone bursts in the door demanding that they, someone help them with some important quest, and a group goes off and they, they disappear, never to be heard from again. Uh, sometimes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, sometimes they come back. Most <laughs> of the time they come back, I suppose, but... Yeah. Sometimes they never do. Yeah, yeah, or sometimes they come back when you're out and then they leave before you come back so you don't see them for months at a time and you think they just vanish, but you just keep missing each other, you know? There's a lot yeah. There's a lot that goes Makes on sense. here. <laughs> um, so what are you guys doing? It's kind of a quiet day. Quiet morning. Um, oh, I, I'm eating a sandwich. And the the what? crazy very messy sort of goofy way that Torque eats food. What sort of sandwich are you eating? Ooh, a steak sandwich. Mm. <laughs> That's Torque's favorite, I believe. Yeah, Torque likes steak. Oh, Seems what, that way. What about the other two of you? Kyla is drinking less today because she realized <laughs> she realized that her jobs come on about a weekly basis, so... So, like, today is the day. But yeah, so like, right. <laughs> I think it's been about a week. Yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay it off, lay off of it a little bit. <laughs> All right. And what about you, there, Doreen? Oh, eating a meat pie, closely hugging Snuffles, as she does it. How many hands are left on your coat now that so many of them got knocked away and swept off, uh, escaping the thing from last week? 50. 50 left. Oh, that's quite a good amount. 50. Yeah, I, I had a backup of 42 goblin hands. So like what? Would, stored in a box somewhere? Goblin hands. I mean, in her room and shenanigans, yeah. Right. Stored in the. <laughs> There's the just magical. a lot of taxidermied shit in her room. You know, I just. <laughs> You know, I just pictured like um, when people, when adventurers who stay at shenanigans die, someone has to like go to the room and get rid of their stuff or whatever. So I, I imagine all the weird shit that like Desmond it, looks. Like, no, you see, that's uh, that's how um, Desmond makes up all the money. He just like carelessly throws at people. Yeah, mm. yeah. Like that's how he makes it up. So uh, yeah, I mean, no, his I mean, wife doesn't get angry. See, he. He actually holds storage wars. Mm, there we you know, go. <laughs> where they just go and they like auction off the ability to take everything in the room. And the person yeah, yeah, who sells yeah. it to is the one that's left alive. Yeah. Yeah. So this Pretty is the much. Storage wars. <laughs> they legit fight over it. <laughs> and then the person now has twice as much money to spend on that. Yeah, pretty much. Say, like, oh, well, look, would you look at that? The price just went up by 50%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then that person inevitably dies, and that locker gets much, much bigger and mm-hmm. sells for more. And really, there's just like one room that has been passed around that keeps getting more and more stuff put in it. It's the, the prize mm-hmm. room of shenanigans. Oh, man. It's probably really guarded because like people like Kyla might go in there and steal mm-hmm. stuff. It's <laughs> actually probably just a mimic. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's the whole room is just a mimic. Yeah. And every now and then someone buys it and like leaves town with it and then the has to start all over again. Right. Yeah. yeah it's the, the life cycle of shenanigans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh here yeah. you are. I love it. Having a, a regular old morning in shenanigans. Mm-hmm. Um Are there any things that any of your characters are particularly interested in doing? Not dying. Not dying. <laughs> I mean, that's always a plus when you yeah. accomplish something and you don't die. Mm-hmm. And your friends don't die. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
So we had a guy die last week. I'm not sure who he was, though, so... <laughs> he, he was the new guy. Yeah. <laughs> who did not come back this week. <laughs> who will, hopefully, in the future. I think I think yeah. he said every um, other week yeah, is what he could make. Well, obviously... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, uh, the die didn't, didn't come back. <laughs> the yeah. character died. Yeah, the character died. The character is no. unfortunately the character they were both the player and the, the character. character were the new guy. I know, but <laughs> I just mean we're like talking in game. Eh, I don't know. There's a new guy didn't come back, and it's just like, well, obviously he died. <laughs> yeah. Oh, or maybe I forgot to properly yeah, add him to you? the invite list and God. the email didn't go out to him because Ooh. I did not update <laughs> my contact settings. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, Neil, Neil fucked up, day. guys. Neil fucked up hard. Oh, well. Oh, no. I do, I do recall him saying that he'd only be here every other week. So I do recall that, it. too. So maybe so I didn't fuck up so. that hopefully. bad. Hopefully you have a saving grace. You didn't, here. You didn't screw up that bad, Neil. But you still oh, you done shit. goofed. I, I super goofed, guys. Hold on, I actually need to send him an email right now. You, uh, what do you call it? Uh, vamp, vamp for a while, guys. <laughs> All right. Oh, shoot. That All right. Bad. Well, if he's watching, uh, don't worry. He don't worry. Did this to me yep. as well. So. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. You're probably gonna die this week too. I mean. Drowning can kill any anyone. Like K Kyla has survived. Like was lucky again. I'm I'm amazed that I got out of that one. <laughs> You're welcome. Dude, those strength checks. What did I do? Like five of them? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and actually passed mm. them with only a twelve strength. God damn. Yeah. And yes, thank you for. Mm -hmm. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm also amazed that uh that Doreen got out of there. <laughs> yeah, I mean they didn't kill me because of the water, so I just kinda walked out like yeah. nothing. Yeah, I still like the idea of us me and Torque being up there like, oh fuck, oh fuck, they're dead, and then Doreen's hand just like poof, out of the water and like pulling herself out and we're like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh. you see, the thing is, because there's just, like, a whole lot of water, you know, there's, like, a, this little base with the hatch on it, mm -hmm. and then just, you know, all this water up to the hole. Yeah. And you just see Doreen climb up on to the ground, like, onto the uh, little hatch area, and she just, like, rockets herself straight up with her strength. Because right. she's in like heavy armor, she can't like go up once there's no ladder, so she just <laughs> straight up jump rockets up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I suppose we're somewhat lamenting, lamenting. I don't know. We're reminis reminiscing about last last week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Kyla's Reminiscing finally like sober enough death. to remember what happened. And... Yeah, Kyla's like, oh man, last week that was rough. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're fine. But you know, poor new guy, though. All right. Who? Moments, oh, yeah, yeah. Moments later, the door opens and someone comes in and wanders over to your table in the back, which is surprising. I don't know how they found you when you can't even see the door from where you are because you're hiding behind a staircase in the deepest, darkest, most hidden corner of the tavern. Yeah, uh, the but they, they find you there. We've been over this several times. <clears throat> And uh, the the person shows up. It is a, a young a half elf lady, mm -hmm. uh, and she approaches you and says, "Are you three um, for hire?" Yeah. Wonderful. My depends what the job is. Oh well, uh, my maternal grandmother, um, a, a human, uh, went for a walk and fell into the eternal pit of damnation for all eternity in hell. And I was oh. wondering if you could go down in there and get her back? Uh, can you throw that name by me one more time? Eternal say pit of damnation and hell for all eternity. Okay, okay, say it one more time, but slower this time and think about each word when you say it. Eternal pit of 
damnation and hell for all the I know I, it's it's a pretty scary name uh, that's why I was gonna hire someone to go down it mm. instead of me okay how much are you gonna pass she rifles around in her pocket and produces a silver ring with a quartz gemstone uh, a one gold coin and ten silver coins is this enough Like, I guess I'll appraise the ring. No, I'll look at Kylo. And like, give me your appraisal <laughs> check, Kylo. Kylo's sketchy. Yeah. She, she <laughs> probably know him. Yeah, Kylo's sketchy. She knows how much that crap's worth. Okay. <laughs> I think that should be good. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, uh, it's worth like, like maybe fifty or sixty copper. Yeah, that's what I thought. Gosh, that's a crappy ring. I'm like, <clears throat> hmm. I just kind of look at the others. I'm like, it's not much for mm. going to hell or whatever. Eternally, apparently. Yeah, how do you even um, get out of an eternal pit? Yeah. Yeah, how right. do you even just fall into an eternal pit? Oh, I mean, she was picking wildflowers that grow along the ridge and, and slipped. You let her just go out there on her own, and she's how old? 75. She's very strong-willed. I, like, look to the others, look back to her. Uh, ma'am, I'm sorry to say it this way, but said your maternal grandmother was a human. Mm-hmm. And she was 75. Mm-hmm. Picking wildflowers near the mm -hmm. pit of eternal damnation and whatever. Mm -hmm. There's lovely flowers that grow near there. Oh, I, oh I'm, I'm sure they're lovely. But... I mean, she probably didn't have too much longer left anyway. Yeah. Like, what, 20 years at the most? In a How could the absolute you say most. that? <laughs> I, well, I mean, it's simple math. You see here... That's my grandmother we're, we're talking about. Uh, yes, I understand that, but we're going to be risking our lives to go into this place called the Eternal Pit of Damnation for all eternity forever and some other bullshit. Uh-huh. So, and for our lives, you are giving us what I guess is like <clears throat> two gold, a gold and a maybe. half. Do you think so little of our lives that that's all you could pay us for? For your grandmother, because it's either you think so little of our lives, or you think so little of her. It's just I don't have very much money. I, I, I regard you highly. I, it's just limited means. You know what? What am I supposed to do? Just not try and hire someone? And she gives you the really big sad eyes, because you know my gram gram. She she didn't even write down her favorite recipes yet. If she die, if she's gone forever, well. We'll never get grandma's recipes. How are we ever going to have Thanksgiving again? What if she forgot them already? I mean, well, Thanksgiving is like five months away. There's plenty of time for some other <laughs> natural circumstance to happen. Like, this is one of many ways that someone can die. I would know. I go through this every week where I see something coming at me. And it's like, well, this could be it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look, are you going to take the job or not? If you're not going to take it, don't waste my time. I'll go ask someone else. But this is all I can offer. <laughs> and the player looks at the others thinking, guys, this could you be know? worth a lot of XP, though. <laughs> 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 is that how Neil pays us these days? Not in gold, but in our little XP nuggets. It's where we can maybe rack up 200 For... XP a week. <laughs> I'll be level four in a year. <laughs> oh my god. Um, <laughs> um, Kyla's like, ah, do you know anything about this pit place? I can show you to it. I was with her when she was picking the flowers. I, I know exactly where it is. Sure, that's, that's good. But right. my question is, oh, do you geez. know anything about what is beyond it? Anything? Oh, I expect hell and damnation. For all eternity. Yes. yes, that's what it sounds like. Um, has anyone ever, ever gone in there and come back out even once? Oh, I, I don't know these things. Okay. 
That's great. That's just... Is the pit bottomless? I suppose everything's got a bottom. Okay. Yeah, can, can mm. you see? No, it's very dark in the pit, except for the, the, the juts of flame and the, the weird screaming sounds coming out of it. Mm-hmm. Well, show us yeah, the pit, and we'll no. consider it. So, a no and a maybe, and then she looks to Kyla. Her eyes get big again, and start to swell with tears. Like, For my we'll grandgram? The, we'll go look at this pit. Oh, really? I'll look at it, but... We're gonna look at it. No guarantee no. yet. We're not guaranteeing anything yet, so don't don't get your hopes too high. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's go take a look at our our regional map. It's not our quite a map. world map. No. <laughs> um, so let me do this a little differently. There. I, I think on the way. Um, I like look at the other two and like, all right. All right, mm -hmm. all right, ladies. She's probably gonna push us. Mm -hmm. We should not all cluster around the edge. You know what I'm saying? Mike, but you know, if one of us gets pushed in, doesn't oh, yeah, that kind of? I'll be staying behind. Yeah, I mean, it suck, but at least not everybody's dead. <sighs> yeah, that's yeah. Uh, yeah, but then, but then the you old ladies come with us. Yeah, but then you guys have a reason to jump in. Um, but no, I'm, I've heard stories of, like, the sometimes the people that come into shenanigans asking for help aren't exactly what they hear or what they are. Oh, purely. oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I you tell, tell the story all the time. <laughs> all, all um, yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, You've heard uh, stories? Yeah, so, <laughs> so she pushes me and, like, freaking dropkicker in. Oh, um, okay. Jason. Okay. Where is on this map the eternal pit of damnation and hell for all eternity? Oh God. Uh, where is it? <laughs> you get to decide. Why? Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll make sense later. Uh, yeah. Like. Let's be honest. It's not not to not to overthrow you, but. Let's be honest, the only place it can be is like next to Berkshire. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Directly next to Berkshire. I was, I was kind of thinking like it's probably like right now nearby somewhere with all the crazy shit that I like the portal of the fire plane that appeared here and all that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's literally in the uh, it's literally in the guy behind Shenanigans backyard. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So, so Jason, where, it's up to you. Where is it? Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's like more or less in the backyard of the neighbor that we don't know who is. It's just like there. <laughs> all right, I guess we're on the wrong map after all. Yep. <laughs> all right, everybody. The like, eternal pit of damnation in hell is uh, like over here. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> when the uh, hell did this get here? Seems <laughs> yeah. reasonable. It's been here forever. No, it hasn't. It's always been here. Oh. Oh. I don't believe it. <laughs> I just walk out back and like, oh. She leaves us I like. I thought that's just. I thought that was just like a lighting effect. Yeah, like, she's <laughs> a graphical glitch. She thinks that's like not even a hundred feet. <laughs> she's like, here it is. We're like, what? Yep. It's what, this, this. It's this dark kind of like yeah. cone that uh, descends into the ground, and every now and then there's like a jet of flame that belches out of it, and uh, the rock is so dark, and there's like a weird shadowy effect around the whole area. It becomes very difficult to tell. Um, you know, what, what's really in the pit of eternal damnation and hell? Well, You're... obviously it's this lady's grandmother. Well, yeah. <laughs> She's somewhere in there. I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, um, 
And there you are, standing, looking at the Eternal Pit of Damnation in Hell, and she looks at you and goes, I... I'm sure if you can rescue her, she'll she'll make you pies. She, she's a really good pie maker. Blueberries, she, cranberries, she just strawberry pie. Have you ever had her strawberry it. pie? Oh my god, it's to die for. Literally to die it. for. She fell in. Well, yeah. I, I don't want to die from pie. So, so there are pretty flowers going around the edge of it too then, right? Yeah, this is a little park area right here. Okay, okay. There's just a park. <laughs> with a with a hell a portal hell to hell. Look, all right. Parks have to be somewhere too, you know. And portals. Well, why? To... Why not have the park <laughs> over here then? Uh, well, maybe you know, maybe the portal opened up and they said, "Well, let's just put a park around it, so that way no one falls in accidentally." Or maybe there yeah. was a park and the portal, the the pit opened up in the already existing park. You know. Yeah. Who, yeah. who knows how this could have gotten here, but here it is. <sighs> All right. <laughs> For grab, I'm grab. Kinda, I'm gonna like look at it. I'm I'm not gonna answer her for a while. I'm Just, like, like staring at it. Um, she's probably like looking at me. Like, you're. I look at Doreen. I'm like you're like a. You're like a holy person, right? You can like fight demons. Better against undead, but maybe. Mm. Mm, I see. I like chuck a couple rocks at the hole. Maybe. They fly on in and clatter around for a little bit. They clatter? <laughs> against other rocks. Doreen just kind of like contacts the gods. Uh, yeah. You just contact the gods. All right. But I'm I'm probably like sitting there. For like just five, so ten like minutes. no, I'm just like contacting the uh, Terrassa. Mm. Gone. Uh, you get anything for this? Um, <laughs> as I check the spell list. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, I'll like look at her. You'll so, do it. <sighs> oh, yeah. my heroes! All three of you. And the three of you descend into no, the eternal. No, we don't. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What? You think we're just gonna? You think we're <laughs> just gonna like? All right, guys, here's the pit to hell. We're just all right. Um, yeah, yeah we just you got guys up from just eat. walk down into the pit. <laughs> yeah, we we just like yeah, we just got here, guys. We just what is uh, there we're still in the middle of lunch. Like, you know, I'm just like all right, here we go. No, we're no not, there's we're no ramp. Freaking... You you just have to walk down the side of the pit. Okay. I mean, okay, how else yeah. do you get into a pit other than walking into it? One yep, does yeah. simply walk into the pit to hell. Yes, and I understand. And we're going to walk into the pits of hell prepared. Okay. There's a lot of thunder outside. It's very nice. All right. I'm like, ah, holy water. Does holy water work against me? Oh, you lucky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think it's just going to evaporate. Uh oh. Or it's going to uh -huh. boil in the flask and explode. Well, if it <laughs> boils not, in the flask and explodes, hot, then we we're just going to die from the heat exhaustion anyway. <laughs> My God. Like, freaking look at me. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm not going to be able to so handle I'm like, that. So I'm like, nah. Does it feel like hot air right, raining out? I need to go to the wizards. And... Uh, okay. Um, so, we're going to fast forward uh, about five days. You guys have finished the quest already. Wait, what? <laughs> how did it go? What? How, tell me. Tell me how the quest oh, it went. Was, it, it was awful. Freaking. So I go ask Desmond what he knows about this hole. He's just like, what hole? Um, yeah, like, he does. Does, I mean, that's what I said. The freaking hole that's in a, that some idiot put a park around. Like, they couldn't even put, like, rope signs around it said, hey, there's a pit here. Don't fall in. Some, some idiot old lady freaking wandered in there because oh the flowers look pretty uh, and so he's he's of no help as per usual um i asked what Grob about it he's like <laughs> scared of it and, which is probably more information than we got from desmond um, probably a little bit uh, i give like, glib glob like a piece of steak he likes it but yeah we go and we like spend all this money on like preparations we get some holy water um 
to get like a whole bunch of rope because you know walking down the side of a pit unless you have boots of spider climb um, <laughs> uh, that's that's pretty hard so we like buy a bunch of yeah. rope get ready for a climb down um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh we we get down there it turns out it's only like 100 150 feet or so we, so we did have to use a significant amount of rope but um there are a couple just like took dead us bodies feet. down there and like some freaking wacky ass freaking wizard that's like it's like he's straight up a murder hobo because his mm. home is literally a hole in the ground and it's like this crazy fire effect that makes it look like that and <clears throat> he can't speak coherently to us um mm -hmm. uh he's what we end up killing by like just like and yeah just throwing, like, throwing knives throwing knives at him no, no 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 you don't we don't even need that i literally oh. just like bop him on the head and he's got like oh four con or something right because he he's a you. shitty ass wizard and, um, uh, but yeah. before we go too much farther with this um i want to flip over to to nick <laughs> nick how did it uh, what was it like when you all walked out of this pit to hell and eternal damnation and everything? Like, what did you... What was the state of the party upon leaving the pit? And did you get the grandmother? You know... On second thought, like, as we were kind of preparing for this, uh, Doreen was keeping it to herself, but she was just thinking, you know, they fell down this hole. They're just going to have died to the fall. Like, what, why are we going down here? It was there just like a <laughs> giant, like, bed of feathers at the bottom of this. And apparently there is. Apparently there's just this giant bed of feathers that yeah, the grandma really. landed on. It's like whenever, his... whenever, yeah, they're like enchanted bed of feathers. So anyone that falls in just lands softly. Right. And so the real trouble here is it becomes like a needle in haystack scenario. Like, we defeat the wizard to get to this pit of feathers. Ah. But in reality, now we got to find the grandma. That's like, it's a deep pit of feathers. <laughs> so we got to try to, like, dig around and find her in there somewhere. So what does so it like, look like when you guys exit the pit? When you, you walk out, you're not, like, bloodied and wounded. You're just, like, covered in feathers? Or, <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, the feathers are sticking out of her hands all over the place. Like, it's so just your absurd. Your hair and your clothes and your backpack. So yeah. you guys, like, walk out of this pit five days later just covered in feathers. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, the wizard we took care of in, like, less than five minutes. Mm -hmm. The real yeah. problem was it's such a large amount of feathers. Like, holy hell. Is there, like, time distortion, or did we actually look for five days? I mean, it's a five-day adventure. You guys are telling me how it went down. I, I That's have what no I'm idea. I'm asking, I'm asking Nick. No, like, it took, oh, yeah. No, okay. It took five it days. Took, it, it took, took five, five days. days. To find the grandma in the, in the pile of like, feathers. This and, entire uh, time, apparently, we've just been having some, like, drop food and water down for her to try to find. <laughs> and, yeah, the uh, girl... Oh, God. The girl was just dropping food and water down in just in case we were still living and waiting. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Jason, tell me about the grandmother. Is she worth um, it? Was she worth all of this? <laughs> um. So she's probably a bit batty and like a little crazy, maybe. Kind of, you know, a little on the senile side. Mm -hmm. um, but her pie is pretty delicious. So that, mm. I mean. There's a little bit of a silver lining there, you know, like, but worth it? No. No, no. No. Uh, Connor, what, what happened to the pit? Is it still there? Oh, you think we're going to fill it in? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the city's job. It's their freak. <laughs> like, let the city take care of it. We'll just fill out freaking complaints about a nasty pothole, and then the city doesn't do it. And then we, we can, like, start a mob about it and get the mayor see, fired. See, Doreen is actually gonna make a sign that just says, mind the gap. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so you guys get your... I don't even remember the wealth. Uh, it probably comes out to, like, 50 copper each or something like that. I, I honestly Perfect. don't remember how much it was. Maybe 70 yeah. copper each, I think is more accurate. Oh um, boy! So you can you can go ahead and mark mark money. 
Um, I exchange it for silver. Let's see. Uh, I do want to know a little bit more about this wizard, though. Who did we? Uh, we asked Connor about the pit. So, yeah. Jace, uh, Nick, it's your turn again. Uh, tell okay. us about this evil wizard with four con. Who was it? Why were they there? And uh, what was their, you know, tell me about them. You know, it was probably like a clone of Yaromir after he had drained the soul or something. <laughs> Cloned Yaromir appears yeah. in, like, in shenanigans. Yaromir, like makes a Ouija board or whatever. For those of you that and don't know he, who Yaromir is, he's a, a character in the Frozen Frontier, which you should be watching. That anyway. happened last Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Please continue, Nick, please. Sorry. But he just, like, then finds a way to clone himself. Uh -huh. But the clone is, like, his evil half. Like, this is, like, a long time in the future. So just his evil half decided to live in a pit in Berkshire. Okay, so the wizard didn't make the pit. The wizard just took up residence in the pit. Oh, yeah. Like, okay. there was just this hole. Like, it, just a natural sinkhole or whatever. And he just went in there and started filling it with feathers for whatever reason. And, <laughs> like, just went insane with this, like, magical spell effect. Mm-hmm. It's, it's actually an just illusion. Keep people out. Illusion the fire. Great deterrent. Oh, yeah. so it's not even real fire. It's just... Right. No, it's, it's just a sinkhole. This guy's just living in a sinkhole filled with feathers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and what happened to him? Is he dead? Oh yeah, he's dead. Remember, he's like boom. And he's like, right. Okay. He, he's yeah. gone. It wasn't even on purpose. It was an accident. Was now, like, little do up. we know, this just means that Yaramir gets his evil tendencies back uh, if he has any. I, yeah. I like how evil Yaramir just lives in a pit and fills it with feathers, and like that's the evil thing to do was just fill the pit with feathers. You, you gotta well, like that's the thing. He probably like hurts the people that falls in there. He just didn't notice the grandma. Uh, yeah, uh, I think if she was, you so, know, she, she was so lost. Every she now and then they like find her. <laughs> they don't like sink. They don't always sink down in the feathers, but mm -hmm. like it's like half and half. Like some land on top of there, so you could see like bones, or maybe tattooed bodies or something, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or maybe just. <laughs> oh, no, that's a great. Just like other stuff. See, he you, know, just... you, you probably find like a couple socks in there because you know he. This is like the evil place where socks go. Actually, throw them through the dryer or something. Yeah. Mm. Um, and, and then uh, everyone I mean, else all... is just like under the feathers, and they eventually die of uh, dehydration and starvation. Yeah, mm. and then he just takes their scalps. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, and tell me about uh, Jason. Tell me about the the girl who hired you for all of this. Did she try and betray you in the end, or were her intentions genuine? I mean, she gave us the copper. <laughs> um, so there was no, like, trying to shove you in the pit, or there was no secret plot to murder her grandmother. She was really just trying to, to help her grand -gram. Um, That's a good question. Maybe... Oh, man. <laughs> no, I think... Oh, wait, no, this is your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... I, no, I think um, she is pretty old. I don't know. I think it's as far as Kyla knew, it was just like this whole thing to get her grandma back or whatever. But she does have her suspicions. She's kind of like, this is a little weird. Hmm. But it is shenanigans. Like, it, I mean, Berkshire. So it's kind of like it could happen. I think Torx stopped caring after he realized the pit was a fake. Yeah, like that's kind of the thing. And... Kyla is just like, yeah, it doesn't matter. At this point, <laughs> like, um, thinking that is like actually a legit portal to hell, or just like, oh crap, you know, this could be like a demon trying to trick us, like a ha ha. Yeah, more people uh, to trap in sales pitches, and then <laughs> as it turns out, no, it's all fake, and Torg is just like, all right, I don't care anymore. Uh, Nick, you said you guys were gonna go to the Wizard Tower and ask them for help with this. Did they help you? And if so, how? Uh, no, they didn't really give us help. They were just like, oh, yeah, it's fine. You can go in there and you won't get burned to death. They were right. I mean, it was illusionary fire, so they probably knew about this guy. Mm -hmm. But mm. they just didn't care. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's I mean, He's a bit too close to Desmond's for them to actually bother getting involved. 
Right, right. Just uh, don't. I get that. Okay, cool. Yeah. So it's been a week. Uh, it's been five days since you guys went down, and you get another few days of rest in between this and your the next yeah. time we meet up. Um, why don't we take a break here, and when we come back, we will deal with our with the, with the real mission for today's storyline. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. It's, it's all we'll a surprise. See. see you guys on the set of a break. All surprise. All right. Bye.